Well, welcome back, everybody. Yes, it is. It's another edition of New Guitar Day. It's sort of just a partial because, first of all, I'm going to back up and I'm going to do my rant again about the foolishness at Amazon. But first, I'm going to begin with the day. It is March the 21st, 2024. Yesterday's New Guitar Day did not have the usual announcement of the date, but obviously if it was yesterday, it was March 20th, and that was the uh, glary short-scale bass debacle, which we're in the process of negotiating an outcome to that. But as you can see, once again, Amazon in their infinite stupidity has sent a guitar in a giant box that was completely unnecessary, and once again, completely void of any packaging, packing material. So, as you can see once again, this is the Gear It. And again, I've heard people call this Gear IT, but if it in fact was, or they intended it, the name of their product to be Gear IT, they would have put a space between the gear and the it. Otherwise, you could say that this is uh, an electric IC guitar or a Git R. So, we're going to call it Gear It. I think it's just a play on the word guitar. I have no idea. Anyways, we're going to let this do a little bit more acclimating since it was fairly chilly outside. And we'll be back in a half hour or so to unbox it. And yes, this is number three. I am officially appointing myself as the unofficial beta tester for Gear It. So we're going to see if this one has the same problem as the previous two had. We'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. So I've let the guitar acclimate for probably an hour. The box feels warm to the touch, so I don't think we're going to have any issues there. As I unbox this, I will attempt to entertain you with a story. So as you know, this is the third GTL 200 that I've gotten. The first one I got, they shipped in this box. And the shipping weight was 11 and a half pounds. And the actual weight of the guitar was 8.2. The second one I got came in the earlier mentioned giant box. And it weighed, shipping weight was 13 pounds. And the guitar ended up weighing 7.2 pounds. And this third guitar, the shipping weight was 15 pounds and the box feels pretty heavy so I'm thinking that this is going to be the heaviest of the, the trio. Um, again it's sort of interesting because they are inline guitars but they say that they're premium ash bodies. Ash often is a heavier wood although wood being what wood is different trees, different places where they grow, different weather environments can yield vastly different weights. So this guitar definitely feels like it's a heavy weight. So as what we usually do, we're going to pop it out and I'm going to weigh it in its little bag. But again, I suspect that this guitar may come in in the upper eights. If not, yeah, it feels heavy. This feels heavy. This could even be a nine pounder. So I know. So I'll be right back with that weight. If you're into uh, guessing, go ahead and guess now. And we'll come back and tell you what it is. Well, I should get a job in the circus guessing weights. It's 9.2 pounds. Yikes. So, that's pretty darn heavy. It's getting into uh, 
less Paul territory. I'm not sure why their weights are all over the place. I mean, this one weighs two pounds more than one, and one pound more than another one. Again, depending on the condition of this guitar, I may end up keeping this one. I may send it back. I may sell it. Who knows? As with the others, it looks pretty. Got some craziness going on the neck. I don't know if you call that flame, but it actually moves. So I'd say that's sort of flamey. So, gaze upon the beauty. Got some crazy ash figuring going on. So I'm just going to go tune it up and play it for a bit and see how it feels and how it sounds. By all indicators, I have to say that all three of the guitars that I got build-wise, now this has got like a, it does have a flame neck or something crazy going on. It actually moves in the light. I have no idea if the camera picks that up. But but their quality, I mean, there's a couple cosmetic wing things on the back. And the seam is quite apparent there. Who knows? Of course, the fret ends, fantastic. A little bit of smudge on the fretboard. Okay, well we're going to go plug it in, but it's a tub. 9.2 pounds. Holy smokes. A tail of three guitars. You just never know what you're going to get. Okay, I'll be back. Actually, before we play, we want to note one obvious defect. And you can come in here and look at the bridge. The focus isn't that good. But you can see that this saddle is completely caved in, which would render this out of the box unplayable. I'm going to attempt to make a quick adjustment, and we'll report on what happened. A lot of people reported that the uh, the saddles on this were so cheap and the screws were stripped out. So we'll see. Okay, welcome back. It's a little later in the afternoon. Again, it is March the 21st, 2024, as you can see. We have two of these Garrett guitars right next to each other. Again, this is the GTL 200 Shoreline. This one's number two. Coming in at 7.2 pounds. This is number three, coming in at 9.2 pounds. Holy cow. Where did they find an extra two pounds? Who knew? Anyways, we shall remove this one in a moment. You definitely feel that it's much lighter. So, number three, this one that we're looking at here, would have been a complete failure for a new guitar player who knew nothing about setting up a guitar. Now, I don't know a lot about setting up a guitar, but I've got the basic stand, and I understand basically the science of the guitar and sort of how everything works together. Uh, the moment it came out of the box, the high E saddle was completely collapsed, so the string was just laying on the fretboard, so that wouldn't play. Then there was some buzzing issues in the B string that a minor adjustment on the saddle took care of. Which again, to someone who knows how to do this, seems real obvious. What's the big deal? But the problem is, is that not everyone does know how to do that. And if you don't, you're sort of sunk in the water. 
But then came the clinker. This neck had so much back bow on it that if you tried playing anything on the first fret, hardly any noise even came out. And that's what it was, was noise. It wasn't sound. Sound has a different quality than noise. So the neck was bent this way, which would be back bow, forward bow would be towards. So I had to give four turns. And the neck has still got a little bit of back bow, but it plays now. But that would have just, if you were a new guitar player and you were all excited and you were buying it, again, that's the category that this guitar is trying to attract. And I understand the dilemma of the maker they're trying to keep it in budget, but honestly, it, you've got to go out of your way to make sure that the box is somewhat, or the guitar is somewhat playable out of the box, because your market is just going to crash. People are going to be sending this back, and unfortunately, this does have a caveat on the Amazon page that this is a frequently returned item, and I'm guessing it's not because it's a bad guitar. I'm guessing it's because there's just not very good QC on the setup. So, with some minor adjustments, it is now playable, but I just thought I'd mention that. I'm going to play it more this afternoon, this evening. Uh, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I may send it back, I may sell it. I don't think I'm going to keep it. It's too heavy for my taste. But perhaps there's someone out there who appreciates a good 9.2 pound guitar. And again, I can't figure out why there's a 2 pound difference. But there is. So anyways, we'll be back with more commentary. I just wanted to get that QC issue out of the way because that's a huge deal. And it doesn't seem to have the same issue as the first two, which is a phasing issue between the two pickups. But I haven't really played it that much to tell you the truth, so I will come back and give you more commentary on that. Well, welcome back, everybody. It is now a day later. It is March the 22nd, 2024, Friday afternoon. A few more comments about this guitar. Um, the decision has been made. I'm going to send it back for multiple reasons. First of all, the setup on this guitar was really, really, really bad. Now, that being said, I have the ability to attempt to improve it. And I did add a little time to my afternoon to attempt to do that, but there's still some problems that I can't solve, and I don't want to go any further because I could end up hurting the guitar. There's still, <coughs> excuse me, an incredible amount of back bow on the neck. The strings are literally just, yeah, there's no relief at all. If you put your finger here and you put your thumb here and you can detest, it's flat on the fret. Um, and I've cranked the truss rod backwards to loosen the neck five times, six quarter turns. I've never had to do that on any guitar I have, and it still has got an incredible amount of back bow. So again, I don't want to break the truss rod and then end up owning a guitar with no truss rod, so I shouldn't have had to do any of that. I realize that this guitar travels through 20 time zones and wood expands and contracts, and I get it. I have lots of guitars, and I've made you know minor adjustments to many of them, but never anything close to this. So that's uh, the second thing is there's a lot of buzz on the E, the B, and the G string, and I did some adjustment on the saddles, and I was unable to get rid of it. So it's either high frets or it's a poorly cut nut. And third, which I would not send it back, I would just resell it. But this guitar is 9.2 pounds which I think is ridiculous. You know, you have to keep in mind, based on what I know, and of course, what do I know? I only know what I know, is what the old saying is. But my understanding is, the reason why Fender created the thin line in the first place was, they were having a hard time getting the kind of wood for the Telecaster, I think it was ash or... And it was getting heavier and heavier and heavier, and t Telecasters were going out the door at 10 plus pounds. So they came up with the idea of the thin line, not only as a style difference, but to get some weight out of it. And so for these guys to actually sell a thin line style guitar that's 
9.2 pounds just defeats the purpose. And what's really weird is now this is the third one that I've had. The first one I had was 8.2. The second one, which is the one I'm keeping, is 7.2, which I think is an acceptable weight. But when I saw the shipping weight on this at 15 pounds, I knew I was in trouble. Uh, yeah, so 9.2 pounds, just too heavy. So, yeah, I'm going to send it back. I talked to the people at Garrett. He suggested that I try and get another one, and I said, look, if Amazon is open to sending me another one, I'll try. I'm an adventurous person, but this would be the second guitar that I'm sending back and asking for uh, for an exchange. So I understand if Amazon doesn't want to do it, that's fair enough. I still highly recommend this guitar, but like all budget guitars, um, yeah, it's hit and miss. So buying it from Amazon is your best setup because they'll take it back for free. I don't want to, you know, hurt the bottom line of Amazon. I want to keep everyone happy, but I'm certainly not going to keep guitars that don't work for me. So I'll let them decide. I'm going to call them, and if they think that I'm being excessive, I don't want to jeopardize my Amazon account. So they can either say yes or no. I will give them the opportunity to do that. So anyways, when we come back, I'm still waiting to hear from the, I want to say the good folks at Glary, well not Glary, the actual the eBay seller that sold me that base, it's got to go back to, it was definitely beyond anything I could do to help it. So, hey, adventures in New Guitar Day, that's what I say. Um, yeah, so anyways. At this point, I don't know what's going to be next. I do have my eyes on a Squire Sonic Bronco base, but I'd like them to go on sale because I don't want to spend $109 or $209 for one. And I do have an IYV guitar floating around in space that was ordered in the middle of December. So that was three months ago. And, you know, the last long-term order took five months. So... Hopefully they're working on it as we speak, and uh, yeah, I want them to take their time and send me a good guitar, as they have often done in the past. So, we'll be back when we're back. Anyways, enjoy the coming of spring. I don't know where you are in the United States. we got a little snow this morning. We have some more coming this weekend. If you're in the upper regions of the United States, they're all getting some snow. The lower regions are getting rain, so batten down the hatches. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.